I am uh, the most attractive now that I've ever been. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, my heart breaks. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. really fucking horrible. Yeah. And it's actually true. Yeah. Because the pre-beard era was a wasteland for you. Oh, God, well... The pre-beard era was fucking mental. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. pre-facial hair Freddy. It's like, however, whatever you think of him now, honestly, the chinless freak he used to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've really added a, a, a shape to your head that was needed with Be- that beard. Beards have done a lot of work for ugly people. They're the, the push-up bra for men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. Now, all, now bit... all you need is a push up, bro. Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term, ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Good afternoon. Welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and him, a big fat cunt. Why did you say that like you were uh, at the beginning of like an academic journal? I was just trying to confuse people who've clicked on this by accident. You know, really? And just going, oh, this seems like a lovely thing. And then I'm like, big fat cunt, let's go. Oh, right. You were waiting for people to go, oh, I'm ready to learn. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I already knew this. Yeah. <laughs> I have <laughs> eyes. <laughs> what could they have possibly been looking for to click on us, do you think? Well, like, I don't know, just dead men, maybe. You know, yeah. maybe they're just into that. Yeah, maybe. Like, you know, welcome Savile fans. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I recorded some content on Thursday. Yeah, new Badly Drawn Boy album. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You look like Badly Drawn Boy today with your big hat. Do I? Yeah. Is Badly Drawn Boy... I mean, I feel... Get him up. Get up a picture. Yeah. I, I, I don't listen to enough. Clues in the name. Yeah. Well, it, it's not really, because he's not a cartoon. Yeah. Uh, he's a, he's a Mancunian singer. Badly Drawn Boy. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. It's, there, it's still found... All oh, right, no, it hasn't. There we go. Here he is. Yep. Uh, yeah. What were you expecting? I mean, I've been... Were you expecting a male oh, model? Oh, God, he is a tramp, isn't he? Yeah. Jesus fucking what? Same look, though, isn't it? No, he's got long hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, you're right, mate. I take it all back. I forgot about his long hair. <laughs> fucking hell. What a technicality to try and weasel out of that on. He's also got musical talent that you don't have. Has he? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's won a lot of awards. He won the Mer- did he win the Mercury Prize? I he won he something did, yeah. good. What, yeah. sort of, what sort of songs do you sing? Well, sing one now. Go. Uh, you know. It's like <laughs> indie pop. Yeah. Like no, indie no, no, no. I didn't ask for genres. I could have told you that he was indie by looking at the cunt. <laughs> I wasn't going to go hardcore drill, was I? You fucking idiots. Name I, would a like, song. I would like to see that, that badly drawn by drill track. <laughs> How have you fed the fish? Badly drilled boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Badly Rapping about living in Didsbury. <laughs> um, he, uh, he lives very close uh, to Will Hutchby, the video producer at uh, Have a Word. Yeah, all this, is, out, all this is bollocks. Name a song from him. Have you fed the fish? That was what? That's song. what it is. Have you fed the fish? Have you fed the fish? Yeah. You're talking about There's your was another one, Let the Dog Out. Uh, who let the dog out? Yeah, who let the dogs out? He did that. There's the other one. Uh, I mean, Ask the cat he, had a shit. Did he, did he, did he black <laughs> up for who let the dogs out? Put a cloth over that cage. That bird's doing me fucking head in. That's another one. Yeah. The uh, hamster's in its ball. You'll yeah. need to take it out by lunch. Yeah. Love, mum. Get Can, a rat for the lizard. Can rabbits eat chocolate? <laughs> Can who fucked the guinea cho- pig? Can rabbits eat chocolate, do you think? I don't know, mate. I don't care. I had a couple of his albums. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yeah. But if, Tom, CDs or if Tom owns a couple of your albums, it generally means you're pretty shit. Yeah, oh, what was the first it. album you bought, Tom? The first, with my own money. Yeah. Uh, oh, all right. With someone else's money. Right. The first, <laughs> what was the first one you shoplifted? <laughs> the first one I bought, that I went to shop to buy, was uh, Stereophonics, Just Enough Education to Before. Yeah. Good album. Yeah. Yeah, okay. album. yeah, you, but, you but, are the classic Stereophonics fan. I can imagine Just, him yeah, in yeah. his bedroom trying to give himself a gravelly voice. Yeah. San Francisco oh, be past Mr. Tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to do that. Um, but the first albums I got was on my birthday, <laughs> and I got two albums, very different. Mm-hmm. What's the Story Morning Glory? They're both cassettes. Yeah. What's the Story Morning Glory by Oasis? Okay. Great album. Uh, and the other one, the Smurfs Christmas album. <laughs> How old were you? Smurfing around yeah. the Christmas I think, tree. I think that might have yeah, genuinely yeah. been one of them. Yeah, that, that's that's like of course it was. Smurfing bells, you yeah. know. I like even at that age, they knew you weren't going to grow up tall. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also got him a lot of blue face paint and a little white hat. <laughs> and a job. <laughs> and a mug to live in. Yeah. They chased him all round and round all day dressed as a Jewish stereotype. <laughs> How did they get away with Gargamel, by the Google way? Google Gargamel, get Gargamel. Gargamel's up. not okay. Gargamel. Yeah. Let's have a look at him. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah. He does look very yeah. Jewish. Yeah. Um, look at him rubbing his hands together there. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's, that's it's like fucked, a, isn't it? It's like Nazi propaganda, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. Wow, we. Yeah. Don't like that at all. Uh, You're suggesting that he's Jewish. He might not be Jewish. No, but he's based. He's a clear Jewish stereotype. Wow. It's uh, it's clearly anti-Semitic. Yeah, I it's would like say. the crows in Dumbo, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like they're you know they they're not I like coloured in black, but they are clearly black coded. Yeah. Oh boy, know? I ain't seen your dumb but no no where no hell. Yeah, they're really bad, man. Really, bad. really yeah. fucking bad. Anyway, first oh. album I ever got, North and South. Do you remember that? I do remember that. they had a, a CBBC show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. about green air? Yeah, What's yeah. so I thought South? they were like punk. Uh, when I, they were like a, a pop, uh, they were a boy band essentially, but they presented as punk, right? So when I was like eight, I thought they were a punk band. Oh, you thought this ginger boy with glasses was in a punk band? Well, I thought they were when I was like eight, yeah. Uh, and I was like, yeah, these are like cool. Uh, you thought that was a punk band? Yeah, when I was like eight. Yeah, yeah. okay. They were wearing leather. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And punk. And they played guitars, and like they were like the pre-busted. Yeah, like, essentially. Yeah. They yeah. had a whole uh, like a CBC sitcom. Yeah, yeah. And then and they were singers as well. Yeah, like Cleopatra, yeah. they were like that as well. Yeah. Uh, so like I was really into them when I was a little tiny child. But then like when I f- the f- I think the first album I bought with my own money might have been. Um, I don't know actually. What was the first one I bought with my own money? It was like when I was quite a lot older. I was buying a lot of singles. The first singles I bought with my own money were um, Real Slim Shady and Forgot About Dre I bought on the same oh, weekend. I can tell and you. And then I destroyed those CDs when I was a teenage mosher because I was like, eh, rap music. I was like, there, that's the enemy. And then I got into rap metal and I got confused. Yeah. <laughs> I was well into Eminem when I was a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very teenage rapper. Yeah. It's like if you're a teenage white boy, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the rapper you get into. I, he um... doesn't like his mum either. Yeah. <laughs> but there were a lot of references that I didn't get that I pretended to get. Yeah. yeah. Like Viking. I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm biking and hiking in with a Viking in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every Eminem bar. I um uh my first album that I bought uh was Travis the Man Who. <laughs> oh yeah, that as well. Ed Travis. Uh. <laughs> Of course you had Travis. And then the yeah. second one was a Blur album. Yeah, which one? Uh, it was the one with four little faces on the cover. Oh, right? yeah. oh that was the best of That's Blur. That's the best of Blur. <laughs> there yeah. you go. <laughs> um, What's your favourite um, Blur album? I'd have to say, best of Blur. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not bought one since. Yeah, that's it. That's also your never, last album. Never bought one since. Those yeah. are the two albums that I've ever... I've not, I've not listened to either, either of them all the way through either. Yeah. Just... I had so many CDs, man. I'd, yeah, I'd buy like I was... a, I'd see an album or two a week just, yeah, like, that's all I spent money on. I would go like buy stuff on release day and stuff. Like I remember like first Art to yeah. Monkey single I went and bought on the first day and it yeah, got to I number did with one the album, and I was yeah. like, Whoa. what was that? Was that Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor? It was. Yeah, yeah. That was the first single, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was the first one they released. And yeah, like I got it on like I bought it on vinyl as well. Like I used to buy like shit loads of stuff. I'd have my favourite album on vinyl and C D and stuff like that. I'd like just was fucking so obsessed. It baffles oh, me vinyl. that most people yeah. are like you two. I don't think I, think I don't think most are like me. I'm an extreme end of music yeah, yeah, fan, yeah. but I think most people are like Tom. Yeah, I think yeah, like yeah. Tom's very normal with music stuff. Like you really like it, but you're just not like you know. But yeah, but I don't wank over it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas I took myself silly. Do you know what? There's, man... there's some bands that I like. I'm, I'm proper into, and sure. I've been. I've really liked, but I'm not like obsessive about yeah. music anymore. I, went... I used to be. I'm not as much anymore. Went Manchester Punk Festival yesterday. Oh yeah, did you? Oh, you... with North and South playing? They weren't actually. No, they were last year, mate. <laughs> Headlining last year. <laughs> Um, I saw the comedy lineup for that. Yeah, awful. Yeah, uh, the, gig was, <laughs> the gig was dreadful. Uh, there were seven people in. Three of them were Dead Man fans. So hello. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. god, they could have bought tickets for us in Manchester. I know that's what's got in. But I was doing it at like two p.m. Did a ten- the most punk time to do comedy yeah. <laughs> oh, for the establishment. Yeah, I did it at like two p.m. and I did a ten spot in return for a free ticket, and I was just like, great. Like that's all wow. I wanted. Just as loads of bands I wanted to go see. It was dead fun. Saw so Discharge last night. It was fucking brilliant. Yeah, shout out. So did I. So did I. But yeah. I wasn't at a gig. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, also, Wonk Unit, very good. Wonk Unit. Wonk Unit. And then there was some Japanese punk band that were class, but I can't remember. I mean, it name. sounds like Wonk Unit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't Alfie Brown us. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's called from now on, by the way. That's the uh, that's the verb for it. Yeah. Oh my! I uh, I googled yesterday because um, I was on Have a Word and uh, I was talking about extremes of emotion. I was talking <laughs> Which about you don't how have. I don't have it. And we were also talking as well in the green room about how uh, comedians died. Um, yeah, Gareth Richards, fucking yeah. what? Shout out! Well, Is I don't that know what you do. No, I don't Shout out! Shout out Gareth Richards. All the way down in hell. Shout yeah. out. Big up the dead man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I don't. I never knew him. So it's, I gigged with him like twice. I didn't not, know him, but I knew. There's you know, some people that I know through comedy that knew him. And, you know, it's it's clearly very sad for them. And I think as well, because he drew, I think he died in a car accident on the way back. Yeah. To the gig. So that's, that makes it a bit different. Like, you know, like a lot of comedians die. We have a high attrition rate. We're like fucking uh, ice road truckers or North Atlantic fishermen. But yeah, normally. Yeah. It's people who uh, die of a heart attack in their early 60s or they've done too much cocaine or, you know... it's like Arguing awesome. about what adverts we should put on the podcast. Yeah, something like that. They just murder each other <laughs> over a minor disagreement. Uh, no, but, like, normally it's, like, normally you sort of, like, you know, yeah. it's less of a random shock out of nowhere that could happen to any of us. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. There's a quite a high suicide rate as yeah, well. Massively, it's yeah, massively, comedy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shock horror. <laughs> can't do comedy if you're happy, that's stupid. I mean, I'm pretty happy most of the time. And you can't do comedy? <laughs> <laughs> I've popped that one up too easy. hi hey oh, hey oh, 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 oh. You can't, see, you can't leave that one hanging. Come see us on tour. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but so he, he, he died. Some people feel really, you know... Uh, you know, sad and strong about it and stuff. And I think it's because it's this idea of it could be anyone. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone drives home at night and you're tired and stuff. And it could be anybody that gets into that accident. But we got into talking about how, like, I don't, I'm not an extremes of emotion person. No, I'm, you're not I'm, any emotion. What do you mean? You barely have any emotion. No, I do. I have. I have. I you have, have like ten percent of the normal human's emotion, and that's fine because I'm never ten percent sad. Like, like I'm never yeah. more than ten percent sad. So yeah, there's I something can... to be said for it. Like you know, the, there is that. You know, you keep on a very level. Yeah, it's, even it's, keel. yeah, it's my base levels, isn't it? My Whereas base I am like that. I'm like but up and down way I, more. I googled. Uh, is it normal to not feel extremes of emotion? <laughs> And Google said that there's a high chance that I've been abused. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain so much. If you got raped with a chocolate eclair <laughs> when you were like, when you were a child, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. someone put beans in his ass. Yeah, because <laughs> two yeah. major issues. <laughs> you know, like victims of abuse often reclaim their abuse through fetishizing it. You yeah, know, yeah. like that's the thing. Maybe you've done that with nuggets. <laughs> So you suggesting that I got raped by by hash browns? Yeah, so I kept putting hash browns up your bum. <laughs> I think you just got... to a piece of string like anal beads. Like, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I don't think it's that complicated. I think you just got raped in a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the, getting this... fucked by the hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a very happy meal. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, like yeah, the, there is. To be honest with you, if you, you had, think if that you might be to, possible? If you had to pick one place to get raped as a child, mm. I think McDonald's. Mouth. Would... Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I think when you're a kid, you would pick I McDonald's. Think, I think McDonald's. I, I pick McDonald's now. Yeah, yeah, you would now. Like I don't if, know. So if, if would you want to ruin rape, your favourite place though? No, I get raped in the ball pit. <laughs> but now as, as a grown up, to, hold, you should get raped in the gym. You should get raped somewhere you're never going to go and encounter it again. If you get raped in Mackey's, you're getting triggered eight times a week. <laughs> I get desensitized. Eight times a journey. Yeah. It'd I be get, like flooding therapy, I I'll, suppose, exactly, where you I'll, go. I'll get yeah. desensitised to it. Sure. Whereas a gym, every time I, I you know, w went past a car for or whatever, I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. You like that anyway, just at the thought of exercise. No, I just, I have nothing for gyms. I have like mm. a, I, I, I don't even see them. I don't register them. Do you know no, what I mean? Yeah. It's probably like, I don't know. I like how you feel about women. <laughs> No, I see them. I'm just, no, unattractive I women. You can't Sorry. objectify a gym. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, it, it, it said that I was uh, probably abused. And uh, who do you reckon is the prime suspect? Um, well, I don't think I have been abused. You might have blind talent. You don't you know, think I'm, you have. Yeah, no, but like people repress memories, isn't it? You know, sometimes <laughs> yeah. the, the abuse is so traumatic that there your brain a, can't um, process it. It sort of blanks it out. Well, I went to a Catholic primary school. Right, well, there you we you go. You definitely abused then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, why was, are we even um, having this fucking conversation? You got <laughs> raped by a priest. 
Father Austin. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin? Yeah. Father Austin. He was Father Bustin. Yeah, he used, to, he used to come into church with, with two, two beer cans and push them together. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you heard some glass shatter, you'd be like, oh, the sermon started. Yeah. Right, turn to 316 in your Bible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you weren't singing your hymns loud enough, you go, what? What? Yeah. Uh, wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> In Freddie's confessional booth, there was a glory hole. <laughs> yeah, three Hail Marys. Forgive me, blowing. Father, for I'm about to sin. Why'd you say that so count? Because you're a sexy little kid. Sexy little child. I bet you gave him a little tit wank. Uh, but it also... <laughs> It also it, it also uh, said that it's it's uh, underlying issues as well. If you Google it, Google yeah, yeah. Um, is it normal to not feel extremes of emotion? Yeah, like look, like, I definitely think you could be diagnosed with something, like a hundred percent. No, no, I'm normal. No, this you're is, not, because is... no one else is like you. So that's the very definition of not normal. Also, you had you Googled is it normal, and it said no. No, it's, no, it's <laughs> not to feel extremes of emotion. Not not to feel emotions. <laughs> Such a fucking idiot, isn't he? But you, you don't really show emotion at all. Uh, which bit were you looking at? Emotional here? blunting. That's what it's called. Yeah, which yeah. I actually think I have, to be yeah, honest. You with are you. a blunt instrument. Yeah. Yeah. If you keep going down, it talks about being bummed up the arse and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but Alex Thymia. There you go. Alex Thymia. One um, one in ten people. So that's not normal, but it's not like freakish. Yeah, it's one in ten. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm not really. Oh, this uh, is a story about some cunt. Yeah, no. right. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not really that guy that would like. Yeah, feels things. Tear up at a wedding or something like yeah. that, or like. Have you ever fa- Have you ever cried tears of joy ever? Never, never in my life. Yeah. I I couldn't. Not only have I never cried tears of joy. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to cry tears. Twenty sixth of May, nineteen ninety nine. I cried with happiness. It yeah. would. It would be I like. Um, oh, I was happy, but like you know. I was there. I was at the game, and my stepdad and my mum were getting divorced at the time. I went with my stepdad, so it was like a big deal. Yeah, I feel emotional now. Uh, and yeah, I was crying. I was crying happiness. But, happy tears. But to cry happiness for me is as alien as if someone said, "Have you never shit out of joy?" Yeah. Like, have you ever been so happy that you've just spontaneously oh, crashed yourself? Shit, I, like, that's just uh, when you double drop pills. That's what yeah. happens there. I've <laughs> farted through laughing. Is that the same? <laughs> yeah, I just I've never... just through shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've just through shame as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, like, yeah, I've 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 cried tears of joy like, a lot of times. Yeah, like, yeah, many times. Yeah. times. Madness. I like, but again, I'm at the the opposite end of the emotional spectrum where yeah. I'm a very emotional person. I run very hot and cold. I feel emotions very strongly. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm very different to you. How in that do you way. fucking put up with yourself? I Mate, mean, it's a nightmare. It's a, it's exhausting. To, do you not just have to take yourself to one side and have a word with yourself? Yeah, and, and I do want to sort it out, and I handle it most of the time. What am like, I doing here? I'm a grown man. No, nah, like, not I when I'm too grown, if anything. Not when I'm like, uh, not for like tears of joy. I don't talk myself down from experiencing joy. If you won, here's the thing. If yeah. you won the Edinburgh Comedy Awards, all right, that, that's not going to be the most joyful I could yeah. be. Okay, I'd, I would be. Very, you, you, uh, I'm not going <laughs> to tears cry, of shock. I'm not going to cry <laughs> tears of joy because I got validation from the Edinburgh Comedy Festival. I think you would. No, no, I, think I, would, a little shield I would. Deep be, down. I would be so happy to be like fuck off. But that's not tears of joy. That's not that emotion. That's yeah. a different emotion. Like yeah. I, I have a recurring uh, sort of fantasy where I win it and cut everyone off. Yeah, exactly. Like that, I'd enjoy it like that, and I'd yeah, feel yeah. very satisfied. I do it, but I wouldn't try tears of joy because I won that. I do like, it where I go on, and everyone's expecting me to perform like a really moving speech. No like, one is expecting you go, to do that. No, 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 no. Because my Edinburgh show was so good, so everyone's well, like, "He's a he's clearly a very skilled orator." Mm. Right. So I go on. He's like the this. Mark Twain of rape jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to declare but my victims. <laughs> that was Oscar Wilde. Oh, okay. oh you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Idiot. You fucking uh, idiot. What a fucking dickhead. Yeah, you're 18th uh, century fucking. Uh, 19th oh. century. Oh, oh, what a dickhead. Oh, 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 fucking everyone's a literature pleb in here. The thing is, I have no idea if you're 18th or 19th. I still don't even know oh, if Oscar Wilde is right. was 20th century anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, you idiot. Yeah, I don't know. I was the one who corrected it. 
Welcome to the <laughs> um, I wonder if those people that were watching this by accident are still watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have this I, I have this this recurring fantasy where I accept the Edinburgh uh, Comedy Award mm. and everyone around is looking at me adoringly, expects me to say something profound, and I drop my pants and I do a fat shit on the stage. Mm, and a I'm, really fat and, shit. And I and I just boot it into the crowd. <laughs> I just boot just it. Just doing an Irish jig. Shower, shower the audience with <laughs> flecks of shit. And then I leave. And then because they're all wankers, they'll go, oh, well, what he was doing there was actually <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. subversive. Uh, it, yeah, it was a piece about how art can be seen in many different spheres. It was yeah. very clever. Well, I must have uh, t- I must have told you how that or someone did that at my uni. They dropped a shit on the floor of the club night. No. Have I not told you this story? All right, so like when I, was, I went to an art college in London and like... Oh, I think I've heard this yeah, story like the word got, art college triggered I've me. Got to, I've got to, I'm sure I have anyway. If I'm not he went to you, Goldsmith's I went to Goldsmith's. Chart college, man. Like. Yeah, wait. <laughs> someone, um, they must have brought it in in a bag because like they, they, they snuck a shit onto the dance floor at the big club night in the union and like it got danced everywhere before anyone noticed. Then everyone started freaking out. Everyone had to evacuate the building and Princess Beatrice was there because she was at my uni with her security and uh, she ran out with her poo all around the legs and I, I was out having a fag out the front uh, when the poo incident happened so I just saw people streaming out crying covered in shit uh, and I was fucking howling laughing a princess all covered in turds I, it's like they'd found my google searches uh, <laughs> I would have honestly I'd, I, I'd give maybe a thousand pounds to have the opportunity to have been there and call her princess putress princess putress <laughs> princess putress it's mad how you've not won the Edinburgh award yet <laughs> I have nothing but to declare <laughs> but Princess Putris. Fuck's sake. Have I told you about sto- my poo story about festival with the car? I probably have told you. So basically... Mm. Oh, also, you texted us the other night saying there's a story we need to remember. Can't say that. It's too drunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was very drunk. Very he? drunk. We were getting some drunk messages yeah, in the yeah, group yeah. chat the other night. Yeah. I've had an idea. <laughs> Here's my idea for the new special. Yeah. What about if we pay a man to rape a dog? <laughs> <laughs> it was borderline that. Was... I mean, me, and, me and Freddie both sober just being like... We'll maybe discuss this tomorrow, <laughs> shall we? So, yeah. Sounds more like raping a dog could be a regular feature of it. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's, Tom's raping dog a dog. Raping. <laughs> oh, isn't that raping? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> anyway, my festival story. Yeah. So, a few years ago, I went to the V Festival. Yeah, you're such a V Festival cop. Well, my mate. You're the most basic bitch. Well, what my mate, that, my what, mate, what what fe- right? V Festival is like the festival for people who don't like festivals, right? No, it's, it, it's no. Good. It's the festival for people who watch E4. Uh, like, it's the most middle of the road, mainstream pop music bollocks festival. The lineups are dog shit. Like, if you want to go see the sugar babes, if you want to go see the sugar babes and wave a Bacardi breezer around, that's the festival you go that to. That sounds magnificent. I yeah. disagree. There was some yeah. good lineups sometimes. Right, Google, Oasis, Kasabian. Google we'll play. V Festival lineups. Right, yeah. Is talk. it still on? No, it's finished now. Friend of the show, Jack, used to run it. Yeah, fuck you, Jack. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Friend Jack. of the show, Jack, and person that's doing our tour used to run the V Festival that the, you've just Yeah, well, it doesn't run anymore. Just uh, slagged it off massively. Right, okay. That's it's good. the most basic bitch, Jack, yeah. if you're listening, yeah, yeah, yeah. the most basic yeah. bitch festival. There you go. I'm just saying, you're, I... You're not helping yourself with any that, of these. There was a good one once. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber headlining. <laughs> yeah, with that Rihanna. was a shit one. It did go shit. It, went, it actually went shit when Jack started working. Ollie Murr's the third highest on the bill there. Kasabian yeah. and Ellie Sam Goulding. Uh, a good one. Muse. The Verbs. They were funny. It's because you're Leon. Muse shit. I fucking hate Muse. That's Prodigy. A, that's a slightly more respectable lineup, to be fair. Prodigy. But... Uh, yeah, I love Prodigy, obviously. Um, but, yeah. you know... Were they at the Manchester In- Punk Festival? No, they're not a punk band. Yeah. Are they not? And one of them's dead. Yeah. Keith is, Flint's dead. Is he? Yeah. Is he the main guy? The, the one that you know, the one with the green He's hair. N- they're not punk. Firestarter. That's no, not they, punk. They, they're, they're like, they're electronica. They're like break yeah. beats. Oh, I like thought tech. punk was just shouting and they've got a very angry. They've got a punk attitude. They're certainly punk adjacent. Like Keith Flint is a punk guy. Uh, you know, like punk, that's an attitude, but it's a musical style. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's all like electronic breakbeat, like jungly rhythms. They definitely they've got a punk influence, but they're not I punk. I thought I thought yeah. punk was Daft Urkel, uh a leather jacket with spikes on it. And, That's like uh, punk fashion, but yeah. like punk music is like you know like uh, loud, fast guitars, fast like drums. You know, yeah. 
Oh. Yeah. God Save the Queen. Not That's the very old punk, but Not yeah. You know, and it's it's a it's a wide genre and like Look, like they would certainly like punks would enjoy Prodigy. You would get punks going to yeah. that show, but they're not a punk band, right? Okay. They're, they're, they're dance music, and that's why they didn't headline Manchester Punk Festival this year. And, and also, one of them's dead. It's quite a. It's a much more. It's a much smaller festival yeah. than that. It's like you know, and one of them. Discharge well. headlined one of the stages. You know, yeah. I've never heard Discharge. Neither have I till yesterday. They were fucking sick. Were they? Yeah, really loved them. They were great. Uh, yeah. Okay, what were we talking about here? V- I was at the V Festival. Yeah. Being a basic bitch. Being his, a basic bitch. Well, this album was a basic... Orange Reef. This album was yeah. a basic bitch, it was. Juicy written on his arse. <laughs> <laughs> his, Ugg, his Ugg boots He were... pulled up in his Range Rover. Well... Out in his crushed velvet fucking tracksuit. It's not far off. So because friend of the show, Jack, What there, daily boppers were you wearing? <laughs> we used to get uh, VIP tickets, right? Uh-huh. And we'd all stay in vans because the VIP car park was next to the thing. Yeah, so yeah. we'd all stay in vans. Apart from one of my mates who was in a car. And someone, not one of our group, a human, was going around shitting around the car park just near our vans and stuff. So there was, there was a human shitter. We didn't know who it was. Yeah. Are you sure it was one shitter? Um, well, there was a lot of human shit around uh-huh. our vans. Was it so consistent? Well, it was consistently brown. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean it was a consistency? Well, do you mean the consistency? Or do yeah, you mean, I was like, saying, uh, are they uh, similar shits? Oh, right. I think they yeah, like, yeah, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Did they always appear at 11? So <laughs> well, there's also <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. there a pattern to this? Do you have a chalkboard with pins? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to Columbo. Oh, this. imagine if he shot and ah. you put them all together and it was an arrow pointing straight to your van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's just one more thing. Uh, these shits, sweet corn. <laughs> Yeah. Notice you were eating tuna sweet corn yeah, sandwiches. My, my wife, she's a big fan of the sweet corn. Me, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, me and my mate had this chocolate bar that melted in our van, right? And so it was a Snickers bar, and it melted, and it looked a bit like a shit. Yeah, the most turdy looking yeah, of yeah, yeah. the chocolate bars, I would say. So what I did was I put some water on it, and I really made it look like a shit. Like, it was like, it was identical to a shit, right? <laughs> I put it on my mate's bonnet. And then I put two footprints either side. Nice. And then a little bit of tissue with some chocolate on it next to it, right? right. And I was so excited for everyone to come back and see it because it was a little joke. <laughs> but it was like four hours before the end of the festival when we'd go back. Very funny as well, though. It was very funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, I waited for ages and ages and ages. I was really, me and my mate with them were like we're giggling. I can't wait for everyone to come back. And they finally came back. And then I was like, oh, my God, look at your lucky car. And he's like, oh, my God, someone's shit. Everyone's fucking losing their mind. And so I said to my mate, Danny, how much would you give him if he had that? And he went, 20 quid. And they all fucking freaked out. Well, they had to come clean straight away. Yeah. Otherwise, they would have thought, yeah, you and shit. Yeah, you'd be the turd muncher forever. Yeah, like, yeah. that joke really backfires on you pretty yeah. quick, doesn't it? <laughs> They're just like, oh, little turd muncher, Tom. Yeah. Also, 20 quid. I To eat I... a poo, you got to go higher <laughs> than that. You really should have haggled up a yeah, 20 but, quid, But I knew mate. it was going to come clean, and I knew it was chocolate. So... I know, but like you really, you could have got 100 quid out of a whip round. Yeah. Easy I'm to not going to take turd. I didn't really take the money. Okay. I know, but you still at least, you should have just, just for selling the effect. Rob, yeah. Yeah. how much <laughs> to eat a turd? E- eat a human poo. Is it your turd? Does that put a premium on it? Massive <laughs> premium. <laughs> Why? Because firstly, I'm doing it by weight. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if I've got to eat half a metric ton of your shite. <laughs> I'm with not, bits of half digested hash treating, browns poking out. Why are you treating poo like pick and mix? <laughs> <laughs> like, just <laughs> fucking shit and mix. Right. right. Assume that yeah. it is a. Uh, it's it, my shit is the same weight. As... <laughs> it's not going to be the same consistency though, and I know it's yours. So there yeah. is a massive premium on it being yours. Do, also, doing it with someone that you see a lot is mm. like there's a premium just for that. Yeah. Okay, so how much do we eat a random shit? <laughs> so we're talking. How much of the shit am I eating? A, a full um, egg cup. <laughs> <laughs> Like to the brim of the egg cup or poke it out like an egg? No, 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 no. We've we've levelled it off. Can I have soldiers with it? <laughs> yes. <Okay>. Absolutely. <laughs> Poo and soldiers. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> it's gonna it's gonna have to be a lot. How much? I, uh, bear in I, mind, bear in I, mind before this podcast you were talking about how much money you wanted to make off the podcast. Uh-huh. Would so, I uh right, it, it depends right, is this a secret shame or do people know? How much do we eat on the podcast? On the podcast is again a lot more. Yeah. To have video footage of me going full naked Martin, it's gonna it's like my rate's gonna be higher than Martin's. He's broken it down. Two and a half thousand patrons? No. No. Uh two and a half thousand pounds. No. Really? No. Five thousand? No. Ten? That, that's gonna stay on the internet forever. Ten K. Ten K. 
I just don't think I can to have it filmed. I don't think I can. 100 right. grand? 100 grand? A house. 100 grand, you've got to. Come on. Yeah, you have to. You like have 100 to. grand, it's so, that's, you know, I've never had 100 grand. I've got to do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so. So, ten... look, like, you know, there is a price, but we've got to. 50 ten... grand? 10 grand. 10 grand's too low still for it to be on the internet forever. 15? <laughs> no, we're going to. 30. Got... We get we're getting more in the area. The house deposit thirty, isn't it? Mm, it's quite yeah. yes, yes, yes. Finally, full leg cup. <laughs> it's just it's so and bad. Soldier stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but you could but you could do that yeah. within a minute if you wanted to. Yeah. It's a minute of pain. It's not a minute of pain. It's a ho- your day is ruined. My day is ruined. But like, um, I think my tactic is swill it into a glass of water and just fucking down it. Nope. What do you mean, no? You've got I to mean, eat out of the egg it's cup. It's an egg cup of Little chips. spoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the, I'm, I'm doing it like a Jacob bomb. No. <laughs> Dropping the egg cup no. into the You've got to do it with a teaspoon, like no, an egg. No, 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 no. It's an egg cup of shit, uh-huh. and it has to. that's how it has to be eaten. Uh-huh. It can't be Why is it only me who's bartering for this, by the way? How much are you? Uh, whatever Rob is, one pound more. <laughs> <laughs> you're not worth more than me. I dare you. Yeah, but well, that just how means that you? you're going to do it, because you're the, you're the one going for the cheapest yeah. option. How about you? You can deep fry it. Um. So... Right, okay, so here's the thing. The thing thing that makes it hard is having to eat bites of it. If I can just swallow it, it makes it easier. Yeah, but you can just... I don't think I can. After the first nom, there's going to be a bit of... Is that the cookie monster? Yeah. And like shit is like the worst thing. So what I would say is it has to be coming out of an egg cup straight into your mouth because otherwise, if you can dilute it in water, I can put it in a smoothie. And I can... No, you've got to put it in a milkshake. (laughs) Yeah, you'd be put off by the fruit if it was in a smoothie. (laughs) Oh, it's the banana in this shit. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) If the healthiest thing he's ever eaten. (laughs) Yeah, if it was someone who's healthy as shit, there's a lot of nutrients in there that you're not getting. It'd be the vitamin C he'd have problems with. I do it. I definitely do it for twenty k. Yeah, twenty k. Um, yeah, I reckon we could raise twenty k. You know, fine, I'll do it. Can we put, can we put up a GoFundMe? Because <laughs> I'm not doing it for twenty. So like, Freddie's the low bidder. I think if we Freddy's got twenty k from GoFund, well, GoFundMe is a charity thing, isn't it? So it all right, but well, whatever the crowdfunder is that we can. Oh, do I'd it. be absolutely furious if I ate an egg cup of shit for twenty grand and it went for charity. <laughs> I'd be. so... <laughs> So fucking. Send it to Poonie F. <laughs> You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? Yeah, it's quick that, wasn't it? Yeah. Poonie yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, I thought, right, what Jerry's going to do? That was the first one I thought, bingo, got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, to be fair. I can't think of a better No, one. I can't yeah. either. Yeah. Poonie Seth. Poonie Seth. Yeah. Uh, Stand yeah. up to wipe your ass. <laughs> No, no just good. stop now. Just no. stop now. That was really bad. Yeah. It was really, really <laughs> bad. Can I say Punisev again? No. <laughs> Doesn't bear repeating. Do you know who uh, Punisev's ambassador is? Princess Putris. <laughs> it's just not a thing. Carlos it's just not Puyol. A thing. Puyol. Carlos yeah, it's got Puyol. poo in it. Uh, <laughs> Christian Pulisic? Yeah, also, also has poo in it. <laughs> Vladimir uh, Putin. Yeah, Putin. Yeah. Putin pan. Puta pan. <laughs> Puta pan. Uh, putros, putros, garlic. <laughs> right. uh, I don't know why I'm joining in. I want this to stop. Um, yeah, 20 grand. I'd, I'd eat. What if I only ate beans, then shat that out? Um, It'd be quite I, healthy shit. Are you, are you saying 20 grand for the random shit now, or are you saying 20 grand for Rob's shit? No, random. Rob's would be five times as much. Five times as much. Yeah, you probably. wouldn't do it for ninety grand. No, I don't think I would. <laughs> I feel like if, if I had one of your shits, I'd just have to leave the podcast. Yeah, we couldn't. We couldn't. I wouldn't be able to look you in the eye anymore. No, we, yeah. we couldn't. The, the the microcosm of respect that we have. So, would on. you eat my shit for hundred grand? I literally don't think there's a price to eat your shit. Really? No, I just can't have you having that over me. Oh, okay. I just can't. Would you eat for a million pounds? I mean, You'd be a millionaire. For a million, for a million, I'd do it, but I'd have to quit the pod. We're never doing this again. Well, I am. You, you can just go back to Australia. Right. Well, I'm, I'm not selling my stake in it, so you're still making me money. 
So I'm going to take that million. I'm going to fuck off. You'll never see me again. I'll just buy a house right. in the woods and that's me done. Uh, here's a question. How much does suck it out of my ass? <laughs> So Why are you getting so more, kinky about how this? How much more? When you say suck it out, do you mean like, so you're, you don't even have to strain? No, so we've got, yeah. <laughs> he's that lazy. Humor it out. He wants me to human centipede it out of him. <laughs> I nearly got it. <laughs> yeah, you're trying I'm to hold it in. No, I'm not sucking shit out of your I'm ass. thinking like, you know how like you siphon petrol? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like... I don't value money as that much. I just want money so I don't have to think about money. If I've done that, I don't think I'm going to be able to enjoy my Ferrari. But, but I want to know... I, if every time I get in it, I go... <sighs> I want to know... Every time I'm putting fuel in it, it just reminds me. I want to know how much more yeah. it is for you to get it direct from the source. Oh, like quite a lot more for me to peel apart your wobbly ass cheeks. <laughs> I've got to move that fucking asymmetrical squiggle of an ass crack you've got. <laughs> right, it is a question. Yeah. Move those fucking bin bags full of cottage cheese yeah. you call <laughs> ass cheeks. <laughs> Why does your bum look like hieroglyphics? Yeah. So, right, right. I'm about to prop it up like an old mine shaft. <laughs> Here's a question. You go eat one of his shits yeah. once. Right. Or snog his arsehole for ten minutes. <laughs> but you don't have to eat any shit. Like, is suicide an option? Because no. genuinely, huh? I would rather kill myself no. than do either of those. Nope. Snog his ass. <laughs> for ten minutes. With tongue. Am I allowed to do it rim in me, a shower? Basically, just rim me. Ten just rim, rim for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten Why is this only on me? How much to rim me? <laughs> well, sorry. How much? To, which would you rather do of mine? Uh, what? Eat one of your ships to rim you? Yeah. Bear in mind, I've but, just got my first pile, so enjoy that. But, it is going to be like licking braille. Uh, Makes me feel better. <laughs> Yeah. Probably, a little bit of texture to work with. I'd probably eat your shit mm. because if I'm rimming you, I'm probably eating your shit anyway. Mm. And then I am going to push. And then rimming, rimming is ten minutes. Yeah. And also, eating, well, whereas, I'm not going to. I'm not going to take ten minutes to eat your shit unless I'm really safe yeah, yeah. it. No, I would definitely. <laughs> I, mean? I would definitely eat the shit because the problem is if you if like if you're rimming me. Firstly, I am going to try and shit myself while you're doing it. And secondly, I'm going to make little really gentle moans. Go on then. <laughs> Just little. Uh... <laughs> just, uh, just I'm quite deaf, so they need to be louder. <laughs> I really will. Don't worry. I'm going to reach around and just stroke the back of your head while you're doing it as well. <laughs> really? And then I'm going to get you to suck my earlobe, I'm you gonna, dirty little bitch. I'm going to call out the, the first names of your family members. Uh-huh. Well, oh, you, yeah. you're not going to be able to. You're going to have your mouth full. You are? You're going to have your mouth no, full. No, 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 while you're rimming me. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'll stop at two. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's only going to be direct family members, sister and mum. That I'll stop. Yeah, there's got to be some dirty bastard who's wank into that conversation now. Oh, 100 percent. Like the freak. And if you are, they're doing it. They're doing it. If, if you are, I hope you're a patron. Yeah. Send us a video of you jizzing to, with that recording in the background. Why not? Send us a tribute. Oh, like when Nicky Martin did with you. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe yeah. that could be our next competition. Yeah, to be fair, Naked Martin did shit on a photo of you and then lick it a little bit, so, you know. Yeah. 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 Naked Martin's listening to this conversation like, what are these boys on about? Amateurs. <laughs> Amateur hour. Hey, it's Big Crazy Bob telling you about our content emporium. We're slashing prices on content. Three pounds a month. Get all the dark content jokes you want at patreon.com forward slash dead man Tom Pond. Oh boy, there's some offensive shit in there. Get on it for three pounds a fucking month. And, you fucking cunts. And uh, when is it you're fighting Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania? <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> If you'd like to get more from us, check us out on patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod for three pounds a month. Here's a little sample of the sort of hilarious bullshit you've been missing out on. Someone has sent us this book. It's Jim Davidson. Uh, no further action. The phone rang. It was another copper. Hello, I'm DC Danny Roots, and I'm coming to get you. Where shall we DC meet? DC Danny Root sounds like a porn name yeah, for a policeman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm DC Danny Root. Imagine if you're just a little sprout from his head. <laughs> wiry beard like that. <laughs> like a Poddington P. Down out of the bottom of the garden. Um, hello, I'm DC... Poddington P. <laughs> One of them playing a double bass at the bottom of the card. <laughs> well, someone else is just like, 
Uh, hello. <laughs> Poddington Pinos has to be merch, doesn't it? Yeah. If it's Down us, at the bottom of the garden, you'll learn the birds of the bees. <laughs> if it's, if there it's, lives a lot of little children and the Poddington Peds. <laughs> If, if if it's us three as Poddington Peds. I mean, you're already P-shaped. I'm P-sized. <laughs> and I'm a pedo. So... <laughs> Just like a sketch group. <laughs> I'm P-shaped, I'm P-sized, and I'm p defiant. And I fuck children. <laughs> Up yeah? the arse with my massive, huge, veiny cock. <laughs> with a party to be. It's a party to be. <laughs> This is going on the internet. <laughs> anyway, I filmed some content on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Who were you rimming? So that's about that. Yeah. Uh, he was on have a word, his ribbing row. Yeah. His bum cheek sort of squints. <laughs> <laughs> got a little wonky bum hole. <laughs> um, uh, I was filming some content where I was going around Liverpool Town Centre. Yeah. And I was asking people. Begging for money. I was asking for people to roast me. And if, a chicken. if they... <laughs> Excuse me, could you cook me this? I'm very hungry. And if they um, if they roasted me and if it made me laugh, then I was going to give them £20. Mm. We should film another bit of content where we go, make Freddy feel an emotion, any emotion, <laughs> and you'll win a grand. Yeah. Make Freddy feel proper sad or happy. No, well, it's not possible. Well, it is. People just need to get a box of hash browns out. They just don't realise the cheat code. Someone gave me uh, yeah. hash browns at the Dead Men. Uh, yeah. They gave me a MAGA hat and they gave you a bag of hash browns. Which, what which, does that which, say they gave about me some us? crisps? Yeah. I mean, to be honest People with always you, give you really nice presents. People always give me crisps, it seems. Yeah, exactly. They know what to get you. But at least your hat was usable. These hash browns... What do you mean usable? When am I... <laughs> I was already wearing a T-shirt with Hitler doing a skateboard trick. Sorry for the spoiler. And then wearing a MAGA hat as well. Well, it's usable as a hat. It is usable <laughs> as a hat. What do you mean? When do I... Have? I've got hats. <laughs> yeah, no. And now you have another hat. <laughs> yeah, but a really bad one. So, you've got a hat. It's got connotations. <laughs> it's a conversation starter for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> that will get you a lot of friends in certain states. Not friends I want. Really? Yeah. I, I'd rather have them than Democrats. Okay. I'd rather have, like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I yeah. bet they do better barbecues. Yeah, yeah but you know, I like black people and gays, so you know. Yeah. You make it a choice. We should have some on. We should, yeah. <laughs> we should. Uh. Um uh anyway, uh, I was going around uh uh town asking people to roast me. If they made me laugh, they could have twenty pounds. Yeah. Just little Instagram content, right? And the standard of roasts were abysmal. You don't say from average scousers. Hey, lad, you're wearing white socks, you scruff. Ah, your bin's blue. Ah, so wool. One bloke, one bloke looked at me, and he was a bit thick, bless him. And he looked at me, and I went, have you got one? And he went, just give me a sec, lad, let me think. And I went, yeah, okay, just, you know. And he was like, he was right, yeah, I've got one. And I went, right, okay, you ready? He goes, yeah. He goes, you look like me brother. <laughs> and I went... I don't know who your brother is. And he went, oh. and that was the end of that. Um, but to be fair, I, that made me laugh. To be fair, though, that's more of a roast of his brother, isn't it? Yeah. But, like, when his brother sees that content, he's going to be like, oh, for fuck's sake. It's going to be like when I said badly drawn boy at the beginning. It's going to be good. Who's this Freddie Quinn? And he's going to go, ah, oh, we were fucking hell. We were looking around. We were going around town, right? And I worked out that I we needed to give away the 20 pound because you need to have like a resolution to the video. Do you know what I mean? It needs, uh-huh. to, it needs to finish. I need to give it away to somebody. Trying to give 20 pounds to a coherent person in Liverpool Town Centre on a bank holiday fucking... Start of a bank holiday weekend, impossible. Yeah. Right? I found one guy finally, and he was like this older gay guy that was like, old, There you go. Over, he was over how gay he was. He was like, you know, like camp old gay, right? Yeah. And he looked, he looked me up and down and he just went, You look like a cartoon walrus. Yeah. Great. Yeah. You yeah. look like a cartoon walrus. Yeah. yeah. You fucking bastard. Yeah. So he won 20 quid. Yeah, the old guys are the best. You know, like, old guys are some of my favourite people. Like, they've uh, they've been through some shit. They're battle-hardened. They don't give a 
fuck and they're a laugh. Yeah, I, yeah. I got to uh, I got to roast people back as well. Yeah. Uh, There's this one guy. So basically, he went. What he did, he was yeah. the schoolyard bully yeah, thing. Yeah, going, yeah. Go on, hit me, hit me. You can hit me first, and I'll hit you back, right? And you, yeah, you, you fucking yeah. professional comedian doing row shows all the time. You can do one to me. I look like your brother, do you? Yeah. Well, your brother can fucking burn in hell because he's got AIDS because he's a little fucking queer. I said bit. to um, I said to one guy. I said, you look like Michael Jordan if the last dance was called The Last Chromosome. <laughs> he, he honestly looks so much like yeah. a slightly downed Michael Jordan. I want to see a picture of this clearly black guy that you've just thought looks like <laughs> another black guy. I think this one needs to go to VAR. I think this is going to be some guy who looks like Martin Lawrence. Looks nothing like Michael Jordan. You've gone... I know who he looks like. The next people? one is just like, uh, this guy looks like Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Squid Games. Yeah. <laughs> When's it out, this uh, piece of roasting content? For uh, uh, it'll be out a couple of weeks on my Instagram. Right. Um, so maybe out now. Yeah, maybe. Just check. <laughs> yeah. check. Yeah. Speaking it's not, of what, it's not a special drop, mate. He's just putting some shit on his Instagram. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what has been dropped when people listen to this. Yeah. Is the new special. All right. If it's not been massive. sued into oblivion by this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to know what we're talking about, you should watch because. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they will sue us? I think no. they'll send us another angry letter. Yeah. Email. We are goading them quite a lot now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think they will, Sue. No. I think that if they were asked about it, then they would have rung us uh, and yeah. they would have probably tried to get it uh, put to bed more than two days before yeah. the actual show. Maybe they only just found out about it. Yeah, yeah. then I think And maybe they've us. not got our phone numbers. They've got mine. Oh, yeah. They're probably going to be uh, a lot more annoyed now. We're uh, really, really taking the piss out of it. But there's yeah. fuck all they can do. It's a parody, suck our dick. Yeah. 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 No one turned up to our show going, God, I hope Greg Davis is here. Yeah, exactly. Like, how many porn stars have they had on Taskmaster or whatever it's called? Yeah. Zero. <laughs> Zero. 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 It's certainly. I don't know. Just has Joel Domit been on it? He got caught wanking on the internet. <laughs> I don't think he got caught wanking on the internet. He got revenge pawned, yeah. Joel Domit. That's revenge not getting did caught it. wanking, yeah. Hey, see? But luckily for Joel, he's very fit and he's got a big old dick, so it's like, you know, the best way to get revenge pawned oh, is Oh, getting... no, you've not got that... Vi don't yeah. share it, whatever well, you honest, do. If I had Joel Domit's knob, from what I've heard, I've not watched the video, but I, I'd be up. delighted. No, we're not getting revenge pawn up. Well, it, it, it's literally illegal. I mean, it doesn't sound like it was much revenge, does it? No, I know, but I still, you know, I still don't know whether Joel was like delighted as much as we joke, you know. Uh, it I'd... came out when he was in the jungles, well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, you know, if I was Joel, I'd be like, oh, well, big old knob. It's still embarrassing, though, isn't it? Getting like, having no. loads of people watch you wanking. No. Your mum saw it. Yeah. No. I mean, it'd be embarrassing if there was why, a video of you wanking. This is why I have a, a sticker over my webcam. Yeah. Because I don't want anyone to see. Right. Not because I'm embarrassed about the size. It's how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I pet it like a little dog. Uh -huh. And I go, shh, shh, shh. Just feeds it. I go, I go, I go, I go, shh, 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 shh. Puts treats down the end. <laughs> and, then, and then eventually my dick just... Shoots a little Haribo gummy bear out. <laughs> I bet you even come lazily. I bet it just sort of dribbles out the top like... Bleh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I come like, um, like someone coughing up phlegm. <laughs> You know, like a, lumpy. you know, like an old smoker. Yeah. yeah. This, you know, like <laughs> when a smoker wakes up in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, smoking's I, horrible. Everyone should stop smoking. It is fucking minging. I used to do that for years, especially in winter. I'd just wake up and the first, like, five, ten minutes of my day was just hacking up shit yeah. into the fucking sink. I, it is amazing, isn't it, that so many people still continue to smoke. Uh, and so, like, it, it, it's so popular for so long given exactly how destructively awful it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's just amazing. But it also is nice, so... But it's not... It's not even that nice, is it? It is not. once you're in. Right? Once, once you're in, once, once you're in, Once you push yeah, past yeah. the initial stage, it's fucking lovely. When you're a smoker, smoking is fucking ace. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But it makes your life loads worse. Like, I would, like... like going on a long journey was so much harder when I was a smoker because I'd get nicotine crashes. So I'd be on a flight, and after, like, two hours, I just... All I could think was, I need a fucking fag, and I'd get so... Yeah, 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 yeah. ...furious. Yeah. The rage that it causes not having nicotine is Also, horrible. as well, the way that you use fags, or the way that I used to use them to break up my day... Mm. Like, literally, yeah, like, if you yeah. were... 
get in a train, I'd I'd drive to fucking the train station, park yeah. up, have a fag, yeah, and then I'd go inside, buy my tickets, wait, and then have a fag, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'd go and get the train. And then I'd get out the train station and I'd have it. You've had five cigarettes just for completing a journey. Yeah, Do you know what like I mean? I'd be driving to gigs and I'd, I'd roll a fag for every half hour of the journey. You know, like it was, uh, I'd measure them out. And like, But yeah, I fucking loved it at the time. But then like, I thought I'd miss it more than I'd do. And I just don't actually now. I really missed it to begin with. Yeah. Nights out, I missed it. It's when you're drinking. Um, and, like, I, I, and stopping drinking really like, stopped me craving them ever. Because, like, when you're sober and, like, every now and again, like, you know, I'd be like, oh, go on, giz a bit. And then yeah. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. Do you, not, do you not crave booze? Nah, I don't, actually. Like, I occasionally, I, I crave, like, a pint of Guinness sometimes, but Guinness Zero's out there now and it's dead nice. Um, but, you like, drink Guinness Zero? It's really nice, actually. It's, like, it's one of the very few alcoholic drinks I crave. Sometimes there'll be things like, I'll be in a beer garden on a sunny day and I'd like that cold pint. You know, there's, yeah. there's that. Yeah, there's a refreshingness to it. Yeah, and, like, but I don't crave drinking i don't crave being drunk at all yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. like i'm more scared of it now that i am like excited by it i craved like, alcohol yesterday yeah but like, like, you like know, i was just that's like a different thing mate you're still in the throes of it i, oh, I fucking love booze i'm never yeah. gonna quit I, no. I love everything about it yeah it I, lo- I love getting pissed i love how it tastes and i actually secretly love hangovers i well. don't mind hangovers i think people are pussy about hangovers no i mean the- a hangover can make your day better the, the, wait, what? A hangover can make you day better because if you're with the right people, yeah. If, 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 you, if you wake up people... at a party and everyone's there and you're all to- laughing about the night before, the day after Dan Night and Girl's wedding was the, one of the funniest days of my entire life. You know, like all of us yeah. just meeting up and telling like swapping yeah. the stories of the night before. I get you on that, but Did you, you know. tell the story of you pissing me off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you know, as per usual. Yeah, yeah. Freddie got in the way of my wine. That's what happened. That's yeah. not what happened. His big tit got in the way I, of my wine. I had a... I was dressed sharply, as always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, ro- I had a full glass of uh, Merlot. Merlot. Yeah. And... Being a pretentious cunt. This stupid cunt fucking backed his big fat gangly arse into me. And sort you of are slut, well known for your fat slut, ass. Slut drop hopped his way into me and spilt my wine all over me. Yeah. Sorry for being fun went, at a wedding. And he went, oops, and then just left like a big gangly menace. Yeah. And then he raped a kid. Yeah. And then he raped another one. Right. Spilt wine on them as well. Yeah. Is that what we're going with? <laughs> yeah. That I raped a series of children. Yeah. Okay. Why were you annoyed about that? You normally love it when I do that. Because you cut in line. You didn't invite him. <laughs> You cut in line, you mate. Share. There's a queuing system. <laughs> Number ninety six. <laughs> <laughs> ah, rape deli counter. That's what dad had at his wedding. <laughs> hey, look, a right. rape raffle. <laughs> it's what he wanted. It was his wedding. You know. <laughs> I uh, hate weddings. Yeah, I with do. With a passion. General. I like weddings. I've mm. been invited to uh, someone's wedding. I shouldn't really mention this, but I'm Because it's mine. <laughs> I'm halfway through. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I don't want to go to that either. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I've been invited to a friend's wedding in June, mm. and it's somebody who I like as a person as much as I can. Sure. Um, I've, I've been, you know, I've been friends with them since four years old. Yeah, yeah. We don't really, we don't hang out much anymore because sure. he's got kids and family and shit. And I've got... But it's still someone whose wedding you would definitely go to. He's yeah. invited me and I don't really want to go. Yeah, you kind of have to though. No, but I don't, do I? I well, in order to maintain the bonds of uh, any sort of friendship you do. Do I? And if you want people to come to your shit when you have like, uh, when, when you have big life events you want to celebrate, it's good to go to other people's, isn't it? I'm not asked. Yeah. I'm not asked if people go to... Yeah, My. like most weddings are fucking boring, and like there's loads of bits of weddings I hate. I hate uh, the. I think the bit I hate most is the bit after you first get there, and there might be like a first thing you've got to do, and then that like, or even after the ceremony, there'll be about three hours of like nothing, and you just like stood around, and like usually you don't know that many people there because it's all like the family of like you know, just a, a, a guy you know. And then you know, just stood around for ages doing now. I think the difference is that weddings are good when you're close to the people that get married. No, when, you, when, it, when, when you're not as close, they're not as good. When, I, it, when it's your friendship group and there's loads of your mates. I yeah, actually, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I Sam actually, Gore's wedding was a right laugh. Actually, I had a really good time. Yeah, at Sam you know Gore's. loads. Nightingales was incredible. You know, like they can be great. Best wedding I've ever been to. It was actually the only one I've ever enjoyed. Um, was uh, Paul Smith's. 
Right, yeah, yeah. Did you go to Paul? I didn't. Paul and... down in Cornwall, wasn't it? Paul and Laurie. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was Ilfracombe, yeah. right? And the reason that it was good, partly it was because they got married and it was like this fucking... It was like on a cliff face. It was like overlooking mm. the sea and it was nice. It was a nice day. But the best way, reason that it was great is because there was about 70 people. Yeah. There wasn't 350 people yeah, in yeah, a yeah. fucking sports hall or some shit like that. It was literally just like, it's these people... And then we eat, and then we get pissed, yeah, yeah. and then that's it. And also, they got married on the fucking, uh, like, the terracey bit, overlooking the bit, and then the party was upstairs. There was no fannying yeah, about, yeah, yeah. driving over here, going up there. And um, Loz, who you'd think might be like a bridezilla, you'd think yeah, yeah. might be, she, you'd think she'd have that in her, Chill as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Just, and I think a lot of it depends on the tone the bride sets. That's what my yeah. wedding's going to be like. There's Because it's abroad, so there's not loads of people going. It's like yeah. 70 people going, and it's all in one thing, so... Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. yeah, that's not the bit you're invited to. You're invited to like the rubbishy one. Yeah, 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 we get the shit bit. Which the UK what, one? Yeah, uh, but like, yeah, me and Mrs. have talked about this because like she's not like super asked about getting married. Like you know, like we'll do we'll do it at some point, but she's not like you know someone who's planned a wedding since she was a little kid. You know, like, whatever. And like we are determined to have a wedding that isn't boring and get rid of all the bits that normally suck at weddings. Let me plan it. <laughs> No. <laughs> I wouldn't just trust you to plan anything. Instead of exchanging the rings, this part, Rob is going to suck a shit out of Freddy's ass. <laughs> but no, like, we're not having readings. Like, we're not having, like, you know, I'm not making, like, uh, one of my cousins read a poem. No. Not doing any of that shit. Speech, well, none of your family can read. Speeches are down to, like, people are not allowed more than five minutes for their speech. Right, I'm not having, like, okay. I've, I've seen a best man speech. Well, I mean, like, you're going to say. It was half an hour, and it's like, what are you doing? You're going like, to, oh, gong them off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> gong show speeches, I love it. That's great. But we've got, like, basically the minimum amount we can do that the grandmas won't complain. Right, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. we do that little bit. I mean, you'll save time not having your dad, though. So. Lol. Uh, <laughs> father five minutes father of the bride that's meant to speak anyway. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, you know, the... keep it right down and just generally just have stuff that makes it fun for the yeah, people yeah. who are there rather than it just being like, you know, I want to just like go uh, barn in the middle of nowhere. Like everyone can like camp if they want to or whatever and just make it super yeah. chill and just have a nice day and just have loads of fun. Where are we face painting at us? I'm going to make a, make it a fucking, uh, like uh, make it into like a fucking proper party at yeah, night. Yeah, not, like the, not like a wedding party, an actual party. A fun party. party. Uh, We're having face painting. There's yeah. a crisp wall. Yeah. Uh, all I'm, the fun shit. I'm going to do a lot of pills. I um, <laughs> Are you doing it on a weekend? I'll do it a Sunday night probably for Sunday comedians. Night. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, my well, mates are comics, isn't it? I so. don't feel like I'm a day do person. Right. So I'm just. Who said you, you were invited? I'm, I, again, I'd be. <laughs> honestly, I felt like I was only going to go out of obligation because you'd want me there. Uh-huh. If you don't want me there, I'm more than happy to just swerve there. Right. I mean, I want I you mean you've got to invite Freddie and straight away throw some wine on him. <laughs> Instead of confetti, what we're doing is we're all chucking Merlot on Freddy. I honestly... <laughs> it's going to look like the end of Carrie. <laughs> what would annoy me the most yeah. is if you... Um, it's if you I'm got going to make you best man. That would piss me off the most. <laughs> now, I know that you're not, because I know that it'll be like Sam Gore or something yeah, like that. Yeah, probably, yeah. But... It, it, it would annoy me the most to have me heavily involved because that would piss I'm gonna me make off. you a ring bearer. I, I'm gonna make you walk down the aisle with a little basket of flowers. Page boy. <laughs> no flower girl. I would I'd, I'd I'm honestly hundred percent you're the flower girl. I think I'd reject um go I, I wouldn't want to be involved any more than the night do. Yeah, but and even you know, then I'm I, not that arsed. You're obligated, you're part of the ceremony, mate. What? You're part of the ceremony. You're the flower boy. No, I'm not you're the, the flower, flower boy. boy. <laughs> I'm not the flower boy. Flower boy. You're the flower boy. I'm not the flower you're boy. You're the flower boy. I'm not the flower you boy. You are the flower I boy. I will ruin your special day. Yeah. I am not the flower boy. You're the flower boy. Nope. You're Do you flower. know what? I'm going to come with bags of flour. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't shock me. Eating them by the fistful. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Anyone want a line? It's pretty good stuff. As he rubs it in his gums. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, because uh, I, I, I like the idea of getting married, and I want, I want to be married to my missus. I like that, but I also like. I think there's loads that's lame about it, and I just like to do it a bit different and be fun. You know, I want it to actually be fun for the people there, not like yeah. just me. 
you know. Yeah, so point. like, I also, here's the thing, and like, you'll be bang behind me on this, right? There's loads of bits at weddings where you're stuck without food. And like, you have yes. to go like four hours yeah. and they'll bring out like three canapes to 150 people and they just get gone straight away. Yeah. You have to sort of like hang around trying to find someone with a tray. Like, I want a food truck outside that is available all fucking day. You if are going to love my UK wedding party. The yeah. three food trucks there. Perfect. Wait a minute. Which food? Which? which <laughs> Here's the thing, though, Freddie. Ours is going to be vegetarian, our wedding. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm l- no. Go on. I don't know. Oh, so you don't know what the food trucks are? No, no, no. no. Right, Just okay. three random food trucks. Well, they they change so that because it's this bar that has food trucks all the time. Right. So they have different ones each weekend. Right. So I'm not sure they've booked it. I yet. think you want you want one doing pizza. The, oh, there's always a pizza one there. The pizza one is always I think you there. Want yeah. One doing pizza. I think you want one doing uh, burritos. I think burritos. Burritos, burritos is a great shout. Um, Look how serious he's got about this yeah. topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want one doing chicken nuggets. One doing. Well, no, brown, I actually doing... think I actually think fried chicken is a great, like a chicken and yeah. chips, like a slim chickens. Yeah, maybe type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are the three yeah. that I'd go for. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. You're gonna have a lovely time. Yeah. If you come. When when is it again? It's like end of eight. It's a date that I'm not going to reveal on this podcast. <laughs> what in case? I'm putting. I've already put it in the Discord. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in imagine August. Um, Bank Holiday August. Yes. Yeah. It's it's the yeah. last weekend of August. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. At <laughs> <laughs> seven. <laughs> yeah, because I'm coming back from Ireland, so um, I'm yeah. probably coming then. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Glad you've sorted your travel yeah. plans. Probably come spend half hour with you. You can be the flower girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom's. Uh, will it be wife at that point? Yeah. Mrs. Not Gay Tom. Hello, Mrs. Not Gay Tom. <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, I'll probably sign a few autographs and leave. Sign a few autographs. Go on, Tom's mum. Get your fat tits out. <laughs> Where's my <me> permanent marker? <laughs> Two not gay Tom's mum, your tits are enormous, which is allowing me to write this paragraph upon the big saggy blobs. My goodness, these tits go on for ages. God, they're very big and quite cushiony. I bet you could. I bet you, I bet you could. I bet you could protect someone in a fucking road crash with these bad, flappy, disgusting mud flaps that you call tits. Warmest Do you think regards. Mud flaps protect people in a crash. <laughs> What do you think mud flaps do? Uh, protect people in the crash. Yeah. Warmest regards, <laughs> Frederick, <laughs> aka Freddie, uh-huh. Quid, Q U I W N E. Do you know how you've got a fake name? P.S. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I fit this all on one of your big fat tits. <laughs> you know you got a fake name. Have you got a fake middle name? Uh, no, I've not. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Deshawn. Deshawn. <laughs> it's Freddie Deshaun Quinn uh-huh. and uh, Live at the Apollo still haven't called <laughs> <laughs> my name's mixed race <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Freddie Gupta Quinn <laughs> Gupta yeah was, was that it's an name? Asian name is it yeah. Male I female. think it's like Sikh uh, male is it yeah. Gupta yeah. never met a Gupta alright Gupta many... now <laughs> 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 I've never met him. Come to, come to now. I think he's redeemed himself for Punisev. <laughs> come to now. Punisev was good. Yeah. Punisev was Comment good. if you think Punisev was good or Fraser. No, no, no. Because whenever you go to this, our fans are not the measure of when something's good. They are <laughs> vermin. Their opinion is not important. It is important to our podcast. That no, it's the not. The people who no. listen to it like it. No, it's not. Right. No, fuck them. All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I disagree, and I think that they should all, you know, I mean, if you've got to be toad. invested, you be invested toad. in my career then, it's fine, whatever, yeah. just just leave Rob to do whatever he wants oh, to Oh, yeah, because you care about them all individually deeply, do you? I really, really do. Right, so if you've got any problems in your life, no. send to Freddie Quinn. No. He'll be happy to help because he loves you. <laughs> Direct on Instagram. He loves you. He That's loves getting videos saying. as well on Instagram. I will. I... If you've got any of the dodgy videos you want to send in, what do you want to do? You want to DM them to Freddie? Oh, I, I've stopped. I've stopped looking at my requests now. Yeah. I, I used to try and respond to everybody as a common courtesy but no oh, no I never resp- I, I, I very very re- rarely respond you know to what? DMs if people say- I don't respond to DMs from my friends people- yeah, you don't respond to WhatsApp messages in our group about this so- if people sent me problems I think I'd be alright I think it'd be a good agony aunt oh yeah 
Yeah, because I'm I'm rational. I mean, you're not though. That you think you're rational. That's I am. the problem. You're I'm convinced not. of your own rationality, but it's very Dunning Kruger. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm maybe that'd be a good feature. Maybe could, people could send us in their problems. We'll like have a word with them or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. we could do that. Yeah, yeah, if they've got problems with their friends or whatever, we could like judge whether you know they yeah. should sort it out or not. It's good yeah. that. It's a good yeah. feature. Yeah. It's not ranking things top five. Yeah, we can yeah. have a look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has anyone else done that? I don't know. No, no not no. well. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. It's a good I know. Why are you trying to cut off our mates? I don't know. I think it'd be funny. <laughs> it is funny. That's the problem. <laughs> give, give it a month, Mild High will be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a lovely question? Let's That's original question. Uh, format, probably. Yeah, is it? <laughs> Asking a question. <laughs> We've That's never done anything original in our fucking lives. <laughs> Task bastards. Whoa, yeah. we had shit of the year, which is still going on. Yeah. We uh, had the worst dick in Britain. Yeah. Actually, I... I did steal that. I'd already Did I tell you about my shit of the year contender that got robbed off me and I was gutted when I was in Dubai Airport? Someone robbed your shit? No, I was in Dubai Airport and I had a horrific turd. It was on my way back from Thailand and it was a banger. It went all stringy and weird, right? It like broke up like pulled pork into the like, really? toilet. It was brutal. And I was Freddy like... they salivating over pulled pork. I found it, your and, food truck. Yeah, and I was like... I was like, oh, that's a bagger. I've got to take a photo for shit of the year. I went to get my phone out of my pocket and the automatic toilet flushed because I'd stood up. Ah. And I was like, no, <laughs> watching my turn disappear. I genuinely went, no, out loud. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this podcast has done to me. <laughs> I was genuinely devastated to see one of the worst poos I've ever done I go think, away. I think we've still got some to look at. Do you want right. to do shit of the year or a lovely question? Uh, lovely question. We'll do a lovely question, then I'll happily have a look at some shit of the year. Uh, okay. Can we look at the dark one first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got to shag two people with a combined age of 30. Who and why? No. What do you mean, no? You have to. <laughs> Don't I have to? You do have to. I have to be a double pedo. Well, no, no, not necessarily. No. I have to be at least right, but <laughs> I have to be at least a, pe- a single uh, pedo. I think I've got to shag two fifteen-year-olds. Well, you are a double what? pedo then. Yeah, that's the most nonsense answer that you could get. No, the most nonsense <laughs> is a twenty-nine-year-old <laughs> and a one-year-old. That's, that's the, the worst. The least nonsense. It's not the least nonsense. Okay. You're doing the worst nonsense. Okay, what's the younger that? they, but they the are, one the worst nonsense. But the one-year-old is... won't remember it, so it won't, it won't have any mental issues. It'll do something to them. Yeah. I don't think they're going to walk away from that unscathed. Well, they can't walk, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They, well, they won't be able to once I've finished with them. Yeah, you want to go two and a half, really. Um, no, like, I think I'm going two 15-year-olds who think they're into it at the time, right? A couple of statutory yeah. rapes is worse. <laughs> you know, is less bad from my end. I, I think a lot of people don't even go to prison for, like, 15-year-olds. Well. I mean, I'm not going like, to be happy about it. I don't want to fuck 15-year-olds. It like, seems like I'd, you do, because you're picking so, two. So I think I'd go... 16 and 14. Is that better in any way? Yeah, because I'm I'm like I mean, because the six... and raping one rather than No, two. but the 16 year olds are a fucking technicality, and that's only because of where our laws happen to lie in this country. Yeah. I still think you fucking a 16 year old is deeply morally wrong. Yeah, but not legally, and that's all I'm asked about. No, really. I think legality and morality are two very separate issues, and I don't think the two should be conflated personally. Sure, but but, you, but you're well. So you know, I I, I think uh, the I think I think I think I think sixteen and fourteen is the least nancy way to do it. It's not the least. It nancy. is. It is because because you're, you're running, still a nancy for fucking you're sixteen year olds. One, no, you're not. By uh, in the my eyes, you're a nonce. Sure, but by the definition, no, no. By the... Look, there's no there's no fucking fox chicken bag fucking grain of rice way of doing this exactly like. You, you, you're a nonce either way. But with this... All right, what if I put a one-year-old up a 29-year-old? Is that better? What, what like a Tadukan? Yeah. <laughs> put them inside, hide the child inside the adult and then fuck the now very tight hole. Yeah, what about a 30-year-old and a pregnant 30-year-old? <laughs> That's the best win. Does that yeah. count as a threesome? <laughs> Depends how far... Not with you, your jizz wouldn't shoot far enough. <laughs> 16 and 14 because that way you're only noncing once and you're when you're noncing but you, sure yeah but you're still noncing regardless of how you do this yeah. I'm just not having 14, you claim the 16 year old isn't you're, noncing you're, you're I only... think you've got to go to 18 before you can claim one of yeah, them yeah but then noncing. the other one's 12 exactly that's, that a lot, is the rub 12's a lot worse than 14 this is, like. is it because this is yeah. it a lot of people in, yeah but 18's a lot, in my a lot year, better than 16 a lot of people in my year at school were shagging at 14 so they mm-hmm. want to shag. I'm not saying they should, but they don't not many 12-year-olds do. 
Your Honour. <laughs> yeah. um, some of them wanted to shag. Yeah. Um, no, I just. Think... I think I could find two 15 year olds who were up for it. Now, obviously, that's not okay. That's statutory rape. They don't. They should. They're not legally able to consent. Nor do I yeah. think they should be able to. But I reckon I could get them to say they are. I'll you tell know, you what. I could groom a couple of 15 year olds. You, you could get them to keep a secret. I've got a car. That's enough. I'll tell you, you know, what. I'll tell you what. If one of us gets caught nonsense, this is not going to look good on Twitter, is it? <laughs> yeah, look, this is going to be yet another clip <laughs> that we're going to have to tweet as soon as someone complains. <laughs> uh, fans, can you bookmark this? Because at some point, I'm going to ask you to give us some of the worst things we've ever um, said to J- dilute. Jody, so- Jody, the editor, has genuinely made a folder in our Google Drive called Clips to, to Release When We Get Cancelled. Oh, amazing. That's so, brilliant. That's so, fantastic. Cheers, Jody. That's so great. Keep- the reason I'm Pop saying, this one in there. The reason I'm saying, <laughs> the reason I'm saying 16 and 14, mm. right? I just don't like you trying to get off on a technicality. One, one is technically, so you're technically only nonsense once, technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Legally. And that's the, that's the oldest one that you can. <laughs> That Dude, you can have. Just so, so that's that's my thought behind it. Is what's the oldest one to nonce? Yeah, yeah. And that's how you but do you're, it. But you're making your other nonce slightly worse. Like me fucking a f- two fifteen year olds is better than you fucking a fourteen year old, isn't it? The fourteen year olds is worse to fuck. But again, the so you get so you know the payoff is balancing out. This is why this is actually a very good question it's a tough one. because the payoff balances out. You know, yeah. if I was like, look, I'm, I'm, if I'm like, look, I'm fucking two girls who were 15 and 364 days old. Do you remember? Right? Um, do you... I would argue that's better than fucking a 14 year old. Do you remember when people mm. used to say that comedians were the philosophers of their time? <laughs> Do you reckon Socrates and Plato? Do you reckon that's a bit of the Republic that was cut out when Socrates was like, no, no, listen, right? I don't care about whether you're technically nonsense. <laughs> I think the Greek philosophers would, well, first of all, they'd be like, well, I'll just fuck two 13 year olds. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> I did it this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys and girls. Yeah, yeah. Not girls, you weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah no, I think, I, I think you do have to stick in the middle range, though. I think, you know, if you get into any point where... Anything older than 18 or anything younger than 12 you, is... You're, you're fucking up the other one. You yeah, know, you're going to yeah, have one yeah. great time, but you're also going to have a really really bad time on the other end of it. Yeah. You know, so uh, I think you got to stick in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's who we would nonce. Okay. So our next question <laughs> comes from Joe the editor. Uh-huh. Who says, who out of everyone in the room is going to have the most attractive kids? Well, obviously not Freddie. Like, for a start, definitely not. I think Tom. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah you, you, your missus is uh, your missus is good looking. Well, that, that's the problem. She's I don't know what your missus look like. My missus is fit. Oh, okay. She's very. We're gonna have very long kids, though. We're gonna have very, very tall. Kids. We're gonna have very, very tall kids. Yeah, your kids will bully my kids. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, I think we're gonna have pretty fit. Imagine kids. if you had twins and they were both girls. They were both fifteen. <laughs> Rob, what, when they were born? <laughs> no, no. When they turned fifteen, Rob was like. <laughs> Time to complete the prophecy. Combined, you're 30. <laughs> Whereas Rob's had a really far apart. Like, Fuck's sake, I've got to have a one-year-old now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when one of my kids is 29, I'll have a new one. <laughs> Come on, Tom. 30's up. <laughs> Give me a ring. <laughs> Today's the day. Can we read the one? I think I'll have pretty attractive kids, though. Uh, the... When they're adults, though, I think me and my missus both blossomed as adults. Right. Like, uh, I wasn't. I like. I was a weird-looking kid, and then uh, got better looking in my twenties. I think my peak years was like fourteen, fifteen. Right. I had a real boy band look then. Early twenties, I was a skinny indie kid with like good air. Yeah. That was my. Uh, that I'm was my peak. Uh, the most attractive now that I've ever been. That's so sad. Oh, my heart breaks. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. really fucking horrible. Yeah. And it's actually true. Yeah. Because the pre-beard era was a wasteland for you. Oh, God, well. The pre-beard era was fucking mental. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. pre-facial hair, Freddie. It's like, however, whatever you think of him now, honestly, the chinless freak he used to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've really added a, a, a shape to your head that was needed with beard, that beard. Beards have done a lot of work for ugly people. They're the, the push-up bra for men. <laughs> that's really funny now, all, now bit... all you need is a push up bro <laughs> <laughs> but like, the thing is I actually think you're right as well I yeah. do think this is probably as attractive as you've got yeah mm-hmm. yeah which means I'm just going to get more and more sexy is that what's going to happen yeah by the time I'm 80 yeah. I'll be fucking 
16 and 14 year olds. You're, you're just going to have to lean into being a gross old fat guy and the confidence who's, you know, like that, that's your move. Like that's re- relatively unaffected by what a disgusting slob you are. If you just own it, you can be attractive. I don't think know? I'm a disgusting slob. I mean, what part of that are you arguing with? Uh, well, like, well, honestly, don't know what you could co- fucking complain about. Well, I think in I'm, the phrase "disgusting slob." I think, I'm, I think that's, if anything, charitable. <laughs> I, I think I'm, <laughs> so, well, that's not unfair, is it, Tom? Well, well, I have. I have what he said is charitable. <laughs> what would you, what would you say if you were being mean? <laughs> I have, I have, I have reasonable levels of personal hygiene from my Reasonable. <laughs> Yeah, you don't smell as bad as you look like you might. <laughs> Everyone says that about me. Yeah, that is true. People are often disp- surprised he doesn't smell like a sewer. Yeah. yeah. You are disgusting, though. In what way? In every way. Which what Morals. Was... Yeah, physically, your personality, the way you act. All the ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I think and I'm you just... are a slob. No, I think I'm rugged. <laughs> rugged? Yeah. But, like, outdoorsy. No, like indoor You're rugged. You're not rugged. I'm, indoor I'm, rugged. I'm indoor. indoor rugged. <laughs> I'm indoor rugged, yeah. You're like a house cat. <laughs> You're what not rugged. What makes it indoor and rugged? You're not rugged. Are you good at DIY? Rugged yeah, yeah, should excellent. have... excellent. Oh, yeah. No, you're fucking not. I am. And rugged you still should can, have like You keep doing those edges. live Instagram videos with that paint behind you that's not been done. <laughs> yeah. People notice, Freddie. Yeah. You, you're not rugged I'm in indoor, any way. I'm indoor rugged. No, yeah. you're slovenly. That's different to rugged. You're a mess. That's I'm not like, rugged. I'm like four of the seven deadly sins, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Which one of those are you? Greed, let's obviously. A, let's have a look at the seven deadly sins. Greed, sloth. Yeah. You've definitely got that. Kevin, Envy. Kevin Spacey wouldn't know how to kill me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lust. You've got that. Lust for pies. Uh, gluttony. You've got wrath, definitely. Pride. I think you're hitting all of them. Uh, here we go. Mm. Right, so lust, yes. Gluttony, yes. Greed, yes. Sloth, yes. Wrath, yes. Envy, yes. Pride, yes. Not envy. I'm not really envious of people. You constantly moan about other comedians getting stuff that you don't get. Mm, I'm not really envious of that, though. I just think they're shit. Mm, okay. All right, we can get you down to six. On... Okay, I'm um, pride. I don't really have any pride. You've just said you're not a fucking disgusting slob. That's your pride. I mean, that's not through. having pride, is it? It is for I'm you. I'm not a disgusting... Oh, someone's <laughs> proud. Yeah. Someone's proud. <laughs> fucking pride of Britain Award over here to old, not slovenly disgusting, slobby Freddie Quinn. Yeah, that is you being proud, though, because no, you are not. a disgusting no, it's not. slob. I will, I your will... pride is getting in the way of you realising what will... a disgusting, fat slob you I are. I will stick with five of the seven deadly sins. I'm not having all seven. Yeah, that's your pride getting in the way of you having six. I think most people have at least five. Yeah. But, yeah. like, not to the same degree. The I, same pathological think, degree. What do you think my my worst one gluttony. is? Gluttony. I don't think it is gluttony. It's <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Right. I think gluttony and greed. So greed is more like about uh, acquiring wealth rather right. than just gluttony is just eating. eating so yeah. I think... I, th- I think maybe, uh, maybe. Greed is up there with you. Sloth is your biggest, I think. Though. I think my biggest is wrath. Nah, I think I think it's sloth. Because I'm quite vengeful as a human. You are spiteful. That's definitely not. I'm not saying it's not there. Oh, yeah. But like, you would be more vengeful if you could be asked to be. <laughs> but all the sloth stops you for having that much wrath. No, I think I think you are See, I the don't, laziest I don't... fucker I have ever met. I you will I... drive a two minute walk. No, no, no. I'm physically lazy. That's what sloth is. But mentally. <laughs> That's the laziest thing I've ever heard. This is such a lazy cunt argument. You're currently whoa, whoa, mentally, whoa, 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 I'm always whoa, whoa, on the whoa, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sat on my ass doing nothing, but this guy's fucking whoa, ticking over, whoa. going 10 to the penny. All right, put it this way. You wouldn't call Stephen Hawking lazy. I mean... Would you? I don't see him running about. Because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't say Stephen... Lazy when Stephen you were, Hawking. When you were moving out, you wouldn't call him for an and, would you? No. Yeah, but you, you can't compare yourself to Stephen Hawking. He's, yeah, he's got an actual disability. Yeah, you're just a fat cunt. That's different. We both have a favourite chair. <laughs> you choose to be in yours. That's sloth. It's sloth is 100% your biggest one. Nah, man. 100%. You both worry a lot about space. <laughs> yeah. You both think a lot about the effects of gravity. 
How are you doing theory of relativity <laughs> fat jokes? It's fucking great, isn't it? He talks about the universe being donut shaped. You love donuts. You do love donuts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I um I, I, th- I think Sloth Wrath by a is mile. my biggest one. Wrath I, by... See, I, I, I know what you mean about Sloth. I think physically, you don't like running and stuff you, and moving no, about. And he moves as little as possible. He does work a lot. Yes. Probably but, overwork. Yes, but at, um, at mental tasks, like yeah. we say, like, he doesn't actually do it. It doesn't look like he's doing yeah. anything. Yeah. That's that's one of the skills, because isn't it? Because he's slovenly. Sloth. I'm not slovenly. Sloth. I'm yours. not. I, I walk the dog every day, so I get an hour's worth of exercise every day. He walks his dog and he thinks it's a big exercise. But that's not like, I didn't say big exercise. Basic I, I think that pushes me out of, I think the idea yeah. of sloth I is that you... I wouldn't say you're I think Wrath's definitely mine. Uh, like I I, uh, I fly into rages. I think that's probably my biggest... Um, Lust, I'm pretty bad for lust, but I've got that. I've got that under control. Greed for like, uh, like for like uh, feelings and experience, so like boozing and stuff like that. You know, I've got no fucking moderation. Control. FOMO. Well, that's gluttony. That's more gluttony than greed. Maybe I, th- I would probably put it towards greed. But anyway, whichever definition. I've admired pride, but that's understandable because yeah. I'm fucking. Class. But I think I think wrath, uh, wrath is definitely like my biggest now because I'm not like I'm not sloth in any way. I like do a lot. Uh, like yeah. Like envy, don't really have that much. Nah. Pride sometimes, but not too much. I'm very aware I'm a useless fucking cunt. So uh, you know, I think pride is my biggest one. Yeah, because I, I feel like I'm a lot better at everything than I am. Yeah, we've seen you use the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have we got any videos today? No, <laughs> no, no yeah. videos. No, I've not done the one. We uh, we need more of your videos then. Send them to us seven five two zero six double four nine three one. Yeah, no animals, no death, no racism, no kids. That's the one. Okay. Do you have another lovely question? One more. Go and then on, we'll, we'll finish off with one more. And we'll go. I'm quite hungry. Okay. okay. If it's, you all were... that talking, it's all that talking about gluttony <laughs> that's made me hungry. Yeah. If you were to write each other's obituaries, what would you uh-huh. put? Aside from big fat cunt pedo or gangly shouty man with no dad. All right, well, he's lounge. really limited there. To be fair, I'm going to have a lot of space to work with because it's going to be a very wide grave. So I'm gonna have a double. You size don't have to heads. write it on the. Gonna have a du- That's literally what it is, isn't it? An obituary. Oh, we're doing obituary. Sorry, I thought we we're doing epitaphs. Sorry. Oh, right, right, no. right. No, do you know why we're doing obituaries? Because uh-huh. it literally says yeah. the word obituary. Oh, sorry. Did I make a, mis- a slight mistake? You did made I a slight, slight mistake. Oh. You fucking stupid cunts. And if you're really upset with that, then that's your pride of your seven deadly sins. <laughs> Hey, you stupid, <laughs> retarded, that's gangly, not, no, it's not your word. You're not retard, allowed to say that. Re- not allowed to say that's my spoffeth. word. That's my word. There we go. That's better. You Thank absolute you. Absolute spoffer. Thank you. I apologise. Yeah, you should. No worries. We're going to put a little Alfie face over his mouth while he says that. I thought that just because I was friends with one, I could say it. Yeah. You know, you say it in your rap videos. <laughs> I hear you guys saying retard in your rap videos all the time. I just yeah, but I, I put can... an A at the end of it, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're saying it with a hard ER. Um, a lot of hard consonants in the. Uh... Yeah. yeah. How retarded do you have to be to be? No, able to you're say not retard? allowed to say it. I can't use the internet. Uh, so, but the. <laughs> but it's, I can say it. It's spoffathy. Yeah. What? You're a spoffathy. Right. Yeah. So how spoffathy spoff- do you have to be to say retard? <laughs> Does that sentence count? <laughs> yeah. I think you've got to have, like, you know, uh, like a, a medical definition for what if you, you could, are. You could probably get one. If you can complete the sentence, how spoffathy do you have to be to say retard, you're not spoffathy enough. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you go, how spoffathy... Oh, fuck, piss. No, that's shit. not the only type of it, though, innit? Like, you know, there's different ways of being one. That's spoffath. Yeah. 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 I always figure, like... You know how they go mad about ATOS and stuff, mm-hmm. like who decide. I always feel like I'd love that job. Yeah, like because it's people like you who get into it, psychopaths yeah. who get into it and go, "No money for you." Wait, what? Do go you wobble about? to work. People who assess people for disability payments. Oh, right. Yeah, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think I'd be class at that. Yeah, you'd be great. Yeah, you wouldn't give out any to anyone. Yeah. 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 Do you use a toilet or do you shit in a bucket? <laughs> Bucket. Why is shit in a bucket strong, easier? Then. Yeah. You are? Because like... you can keep that in the same room. <laughs> Where is you going to move your toilet from room to room? <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know if you'd get an obituary. That's the problem with this. Yeah. I'd be like, you know, comedian trying, well, you know, tried... I don't know what I'd put for you. You're quite unremarkable. <laughs> That's the problem. 
<laughs> what achievements are we going to have to talk about in an obituary? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Like what should I what should I base it around? Was known by many groups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Infamous. Bit, yeah. A lover of the Muslim women. <laughs> I think that what you would say about me when I died mm. was that I was a man who didn't compromise. In his yeah, belief. you've got to find euphemisms for why he's a cunt. Yeah. yeah. So you know, yeah. uh, he didn't suffer fools gladly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, he always oh, spoke his mind. Oh, he spoke, always spoke his, mind. his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Told it like it is. Yeah. He he got through his ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. yeah colorful character. Never colorful. wasted food. Yeah. <laughs> Hated waste. <laughs> He was quite the gourmand. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, we've got to find euphemisms for that, uh, basically, for you being a big fucking greedy, useless, lazy con. Yeah. I don't think I'd do your obituary. No, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want you to. No, well, there, that's not the thing. Yeah. It's what would you write if you had to? Yeah. If I had to, uh, here lies Rob Mulholland. I'd be like, here lies Freddie Quinn, and also a bit over there, and a bit to your left as well. He's sort of all over the place here. He's fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> How many Paul Bearers do you reckon it'd take for both of your coffins? Oh, we're just getting a tractor for Freddy to drag it. Yeah, you'd Rob... need at least eight. Like normal yeah. six. Yeah, like Rob a... would need eight. It looked like a some sort of millipede. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Millipedo. Uh, hey. Yeah. Millipedo. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, is that what we've degenerated to? It apparently is. That's Millipedo. where we've got. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I'm not we're not writing obituaries. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, <laughs> thank fuck you. you, Landry. Yes, fucking Landry. Thank you for being a What sort of Star Wars name is that? <laughs> thank you for being a Patreon. This isn't uh, a Patreon episode. No, I'm just to the ones that are. <laughs> Uh, if you have enjoyed Dead Men Talking, uh, then why not become a Patreon? Uh, you get an extra episode every week and loads of other benefits. And the Task Bastard special, which is out, it is amazing. It's fucking quality and it's it worth the amazing. three quid in its own. Uh, so please sign up to Patreon because you help keep the podcast going and you help us grow. Um, anything... And for once, we genuinely mean it when we say you're missing out on something good. <laughs> <laughs> No, the other specials are good. I'm joking. Fucking hell, you defensive little prick. There's his pride. Yeah, Thank you for listening. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Bye.